Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored today and this week by Mobile Posse. The way advertisers, content providers, wireless carriers, and you can proactively reach consumers on their mobile phones. For most of my 19 years observing and reporting on the research industry, it would have been unthinkable for Nielsen, which was known as the TV ratings company, and Arbitron, which was really in the radio realm, to be under one roof. But on Tuesday, in a surprising and not really shocking announcement for these days, Nielsen said it is buying its longtime competitor, Arbitron, for $1.26 billion. The two have competed, each measuring segments of the other's primary terrain over the years, and it's really hard to know what convinced Arbitron to sell at this point, but the need for a complete cross-platform measurement surely is Nielsen's interest. Arbitron, it is said already, will improve Nielsen's measurement of streaming audio and out of home. On Monday, Arbitron, by the way, had promoted EVP and COO Sean Kramer to CEO effective January the 1. Next, how vital is big data? Well, big enough for the German government to provide partial financial support for a survey on its use and potential. The study concluded three major opportunities for German companies. One, big data, it said, can foster more effective business management, such as more precise demand forecasting. Two, it can facilitate mass customization. And three, more intelligent products. Moving on, thanks to the family of George Gallup, which recently donated 200 boxes of his personal papers to the University of Iowa, we're beginning to learn details about the foundational days of our industry. Gallup died in 1984, but almost 50 years before in 1932, while an advertising executive, he had chosen to more or less mastermind the election of his mother-in-law as Iowa's Secretary of State. He informally polled voters and discovered highway safety to be a top concern. She ran on that issue and in the process won the election, became the first woman ever and the first Democrat in 76 years to hold that office in Iowa. Next, Nielsen and Twitter said they will introduce Nielsen Twitter TV ratings for the U.S. market next fall. Now, these will be a syndicated standard metric, quote, around the reach of the TV conversation on Twitter, end of quote. Finally, the company that runs the United States NASDAQ exchange is acquiring Thomson Reuters for $390 million. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Mobile Posse. The way advertisers, content providers, and wireless carriers proactively reach consumers on their mobile phones. Have a great research day, and please join us again tomorrow.